Good morning, Year 3. Welcome back. It's good to see you. Well, today's Friday, so you know what that means. That means there will be a challenge very, very soon. But before we do the challenge, let's go over yesterday's work. So the first question has eight children, each having three sweets. So our bar needed to have eight sections, each of them worth three, and we need to do eight multiplied by three, which is 24. Remember, we could do it as repeated addition as well. Let's try question two. Question two, Jack has 18 seeds. He plants three seeds in each pot. Which bar model represents or matches the problem? Well, if we have a look at this one, this one has 18 seeds, but look, there's six seeds. Well, that's not right, because he plants three seeds in each pot. Let's check this one. Yeah, look, three seeds in each pot. So we know that he has six pots all together. So it would be B. Let's try question three. Question three. We know that there are 473 pages in a book. Isla's read 282 pages. How many does she have left? Well, that gives us a clue. It has to be a subtraction. So there's our number of pages. There's the pages that she's read. And now we need to read out, uh, read. We need to work out what's left. So we need to do a subtraction sum. So 473 subtract 282 leaves her with 191. So that would go there to show that there's 191 pages left. Let's try question four. Question four. While playing a board game, Rob manages to roll a nine six times in a row. What was his score? So you can feel a multiplication. There's our six times. And there's our nine that he rolls, those six times. So six times nine. Do you remember the trick I showed you with your fingers if you're not sure? Six nines are 54. And let's try question five. So Amir shares 24 sweets equally between eight friends. How many do they get each? Which bar model would you use to represent the problem? Well, first of all, we know that he's got a total of 24. So both of them have a total of 24. Okay, so now what we need to look at is the eight friends part. So that means we need to have eight sections in our bar. Well, if we look at the first one, we've got eight sections. The second one only has three, so that can't be right. So it must be the first one. So we need to do 24, and because we're sharing them equally, that means we're dividing, and we're dividing by eight. So you could use your skip counting, you could use your dot paper, you could use items to try and work it out. What's the answer? Yeah, three. And you can check it back with skip counting or using your times table. One's eight is eight, two eights are 16, three eights are 24. So three multiplied by eight equals 24. How did you get on? Good, I hope. Let's try today's task. Today's task is a really good challenge because we're going to use all four rules. So we're going to practice multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, and we're going to use it by making a loop card. Now I've put the resources into the PowerPoint. So you can always print out the page, which looks like this, because we're going to use each of these cards. So you need to cut them out individually. I've also popped one blank one for you because you might want to make your own after we do this activity. But I'll get you to pause the video, cut these cards out, and then we'll come back together in a minute, okay? So once you've cut out all the cards, what you're going to try to do is to see if you can make a complete chain, like a complete loop with all of them. Can we get them to match up so that they all fit together? If you have a look at the instructions here, I've started you off with one possible. Now, if we take the one that says 10 times two, that would mean 10 times two, I need to work it out and I know that 10 times two is 20. So if I have a look, there's a card that has 20 at the top. Can you see it? Yeah, it's there. So that means that one would join together. So 10 times two is 20. Now I've got 20 plus one. So what am I trying to look for at the top of the next one? <gasps> don't tell me, I don't wanna give it away. But that's your challenge. So see if you can get all of these cards to fit round so it makes a complete chain. And the reason I say it's a chain is because potentially with this one, something's gonna end up 
that finishes or needs the answer 10 because then that would link to this one. So you want to try and see if you can make all of these fit together into a loop that would finish, I don't know, I'm just putting them in randomly now, this isn't the right answer, but it's just to show you that potentially they could all go round in a chain so that one links to the next, the next one links to the next number at the top and so on. Obviously this isn't right because 20 plus one isn't four and four times two isn't 14, but you're gonna see if you can make it into a complete loop. And then some things to think about. Does it matter which card you start with? You could try a few different ways and see if it still works. And then you can see if you can maybe add some cards to it. So can you extend the loop? Could you make the loop a little bit longer by putting in maybe one or two of your own cards? Another really good challenge to do would be to make one of your own. So use the blank grid that I put into the PowerPoint. It would be really lovely for you to have a go at doing that. And then you could maybe play it with mums and dads or brothers or sisters. Good luck guys, I hope you enjoy that. So I continued with the loop that we started together a minute ago. Let's go through it. So, 10 times two, it's 20. 20 plus one is 21. 21 divided by three is seven. Seven times two is 14. 14 subtract two is 12. 12 divided by three is four. Four times two is eight. 8 divided by 5 is 3, 3 times 6 is 18, 18 subtract 3 is 15, 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 5 times 2 is 10. Woo! We've done it! That was really good! So using that start of our loop, we've had a go at making our own. Now, if we started with 4 times 2, then you would make four times two the start and then you'd go eight. So it wouldn't really matter where you started. If you started with 14 to um, take away two, then you'd move on to 12 and so on. So it wouldn't matter which card you started with because all of these are in the loop. They all continue. It's a bit like um, a cycle, isn't it? In science, it's going to continue. So if you started here or started here or started here, your start and your end might be in slightly different places on the circle, but they're still going to be within that loop. I hope you enjoyed that one. Even better is to try and add in some of your own cards. It really does challenge you to think about where you'd have to go after, because you'd have to make sure your chain still was a continual circle, a continual flow through. And then if you had a go at making one of your own, you'd have to think about how you linked the cards together. It would be really great to have some photos perhaps of you with your own cards and maybe challenging brothers or sisters or mums or dads or, or somebody to have a go. So just to finish off, I'm just showing you just the idea of what you could do. So I was guided a little bit by this one to start off. So instead of 10 times two, I thought I'd do 10 times three. So 10 times three is 30. And then I decided to do a subtraction. So I thought I would take away five and then it's 25. Then I thought I would do a division because I've done multiplication and subtraction, so I thought I would divide. And 25 divided by five is five. So now I've done an addition. So I did five add 11, which we know is 16. So I write 16, then I think I'll do another divide. So 16 divided by two. 16 divided by two is eight, isn't it? So eight, and now because this loop is 10, then I'd have to do eight plus two, which equals 10. So that's just a very small loop just to show you the idea. But like I said, have a go, enjoy it, use the cards. If you can't print off the cards, it doesn't matter. Just use some little pieces of scrap paper. I hope you enjoyed Friday's challenge. It was a good fun one. And now you should feel really confident with all four rules. Have a great weekend, guys. I'll see you later. Bye for now.